What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here from the official WeGamer.com. Welcome to the seventh episode of One on One with Fame Entertainment. And as you guys know, this is a platform for YouTuber game, YouTubers and gamers like to come on and let their voice be heard. Just like last week, I have another UK brother from another mother. This guy has been rocking with me since day one when I started my channel. He's always pushed me uh, to make my channel better. He's even set goals for me at some points that the last one I just barely reached whenever I hit 500 subscribers. <laughs> so uh, I really want to I really want to thank uh, Gibbo for coming on. So uh, go ahead and uh, tell the people, you know, who you are and what your channel is all about. What's going on, guys? Um, give my sex be one. Uh, been on YouTube now for, coming up for nearly two years. Um, if you don't know me, I think Fame will link the channel in the description. It's just it's basically Xbox news and a bit of gameplay as well, so thanks, guys. All right, uh, quick question, and I've always wanted to, wanted the question also. What made you start a YouTube channel? Like, I know when I started mine, uh, you uh, an anchor man, you guys were big, really big inspirations for me to start my channel. Yeah. Um, is there is there a something something in particular or someone in particular who got you started on YouTube or made you want to create a, a YouTube gaming channel? Well. Uh, I'm probably like you before you started yours. I was always watching YouTube for gaming videos and um, Let's Plays with people. Uh, the first one I actually saw Xbox related was um, Zaire, Next Gen 720. I know he can be a bit a bit comical at times, but after E3 2013, um, the Xbox reveal, even though I had the DRM restriction and everything else, I was set. I did set my sights on that, um, and that's when I went and pre-ordered it straight after that E3 event. Went went down to game and uh, pre-ordered my console and I thought you know what I, I can do this YouTube thing so I give it a go in September 2013 I set up a channel I can remember doing my first video I was sat there like for four hours doing a two minute video and I was thinking oh shit what am I doing wrong here um, <laughs> if you go back you if you go back to my very first video, I was actually sat in my kitchen. I had to set it up. I had like different scenes and shit like that. And then I was thinking, how how am I gonna like introduce myself and everything? So it, basically, this is no lie. It took me four hours to do about a two or three minute video, and that was the unboxing video. What um, Major Nelson did back in I think it was July 2013 when he unboxed the Xbox mm -hmm. One, and uh, that's what I was just gonna be gaming related. Obviously, the Twitch app didn't come. On release, not like the PS4, uh, so I was a bit disappointed at that because I was advertising. I'd be doing Twitch streams with uh, gaming and that. So um, yeah, so and it just sort of like picked up from there. And then uh, you mentioned Anchorman V before. I think he hit me up about two months later. He was in the same position as me, same sub count thing, and uh, we both give each other shout outs. And it's just gone on from there. And uh, I always said if anyone wants to do YouTube, I'm I'm always there for them. Uh, if you if you need any pointers or anything like that, just just come and give us a shout because it's took me nearly two years to build up to. I think I'm go I'm coming up to 1,900 subscribers now, but you know I enjoy doing it and I'm still here today, so I must be doing something right. <laughs> yeah, and and that's uh, one of the things I I, mean, I really praised you and uh, and Anchorman a lot when I started, man, because not a lot of YouTubers mm -hmm. are willing to help. You know, most no, people are about yeah. themselves, and now you're one of the few guys. You and Anchorman, and, mm. and even Microbots of X, you guys are yeah. one of the few guys who, if you if they come to you, you're more than willing to yeah. to to give the guys tips and tricks, man. So, uh, do you have any any advice for someone um, who's who's let, let's say they're watching this and they want to start a channel today? Any advice you would give them as far as you know, like yeah. basic, basic starting off? Yeah, just just be yourself. I mean, we all go into this doing things like, you know, am I doing this right, am I doing that? It's always good to watch other YouTubers who've been at it for a couple of years or even a year. Um, you, you've you got the technology now. If you're on the Xbox One or the PS4, you've got the game DVRs. You can upload to YouTube straight from the console. You can add commentary. Even if you haven't got a, um, a laptop, a Mac or something like that, you can do it all from your console. Uh, I've just... I mean, I'm still doing it now, and I'm still learning things with iMovie and iMac, what I didn't even know existed for overlays and everything like that, lower thirds and everything. So, uh, yeah, just be yourself. Um, do whatever you want to do. If you want to do Let's Plays, even if you just want to upload gameplay at first, you'll attract some people, um, you know, because there's a lot, a lot in in both communities. You'll be surprised um, 
like we have these little fanboy wars on the PS4 and the Xbox, but you'll be surprised how many people from the other console will subscribe to your channel. If you keep mm-hmm. it real, um, we all know about the YouTube beef and everything, and you know, beef videos now get more hits than gaming videos, which I think is completely wrong, uh, because mm-hmm. you know, I, I mean, I've been gaming since I was three years old. I'm now 37. I'm not. Um, I'm, not I'm not embarrassed to say I am 37, I'll, and I'll probably be gaming. Until the until the day I die, until my fingers uh, stop working. <laughs> but uh, I, I've been gaming all my life. Um, so if there's anyone out there who is just like subscribe to me or subscribe to any of these guys in the Wii Gaming crew or anywhere else, you know, give it a try. Um, and you can always hit me up. And same with Fame, same with Rise and Grind, Kid Smooth, Microbox, Iron Wolf, Anchorman. They'll all give you pointers and, and they'll all give you tips. Like he said, though, there's not many people who will. I give out, um, I I wanted some information when I started and I didn't get back a response of people what I thought would help me, but that's cool. You know, that's cool. And I always said if anyone wanted to think it out, I'm not going to be like that. I've had loads of inboxes. I've had loads of things. I enjoy your YouTube channel, especially on Xbox as well. I always re- respond as well, and um, and I always game with them sometimes. So yeah, so it's always good to engage your community and just and keep it real with them. For those guys who you know, if if you need proof in the pudding, I Fame Entertainment. I am proof in the pudding. This guy started with me. He's still here around. I mean, we we game on Xbox together, man. So. Yeah. Any of you guys, you know, just looking to start, you know, don't know where to start, is looking for some friendly advice, someone to watch a video, you know, give you tips, man. Uh, Gibbo is the guy to go to, anchor man. You know, myself, like I said, I'm, I'm the proof that this guy, he, he means what he says, and that's absolutely great. Yeah. But I want to take it back to the beginning when you had mentioned um, uh, Zaire as one of the people you started looking at uh, at first. Yeah. I know some people, this is the first time watching, the people going to automatically go to, oh, you got your ex bot, blah, yeah. blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They don't. Re- they don't know. For people, I mean, you game on PlayStation. PlayStation Four also, correct? You're you are all I around. Have, I have an, um, a PS4, and I enjoy my PS4. Yeah, I do the odd little um, videos on my channel, but it it's only for fun, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the PS4. Um, I'm a pro Xbox gamer. Um, I was a PlayStation, PlayStation Two. Went from PlayStation Two to the Xbox 360, and from the 360 to the One. Uh, I never owned a PS3. Because uh, the 360 was where it, where it was at for me, they were bringing the games out what I wanted to play, and the PS4, yeah, um, I do enjoy my PS4. Um, I think it's just good all around to have experience all consoles. I know a lot of people can't afford um, to have two consoles, but you know they've been out nearly two years now. There's price drops, there's bundles, especially here in the UK. The PS4 and the Xbox One has got a considerable price drop, um, and come the holiday season, you know. We don't even know what games E3 is around the corner. We don't even know what games are dropping yet, and I, I reckon that we will both be affordable by Christmas time if you've only got the one system. Yeah, you you'll never be bored if you own no, no. you know both consoles or all consoles yeah. or PC. So never ne- never let you know basically but basically what you said never let people you know pretty much make you not bother the console because yeah. you'll never be bored with these consoles. But mm-hmm. to to tra- to transition to you had brought up E3. And I'm pretty sure you saw this, and if you guys out there, you guys saw this. Uh, it was a uh, Microsoft had put out uh, see the greatest game lineup in Xbox history. Yeah. Uh, watch Xbox E3 live Monday, June 15th, 2015 at 5 p.m. BST. Now that is a lot of pressure to put on yourself. I mean, I don't know Phil had came out and said that this year they're going to focus more on first-party titles than ever before, less third-party titles. Um, and I know some of the proof is kind of in the pudding because with the Call of Duty uh, trailer, the teaser we've seen, you didn't see any Xbox branding on it. I mean, yeah. what do you think about this? them putting this out, about the pressure and the hype they're putting on themselves Well, on E3? Well, you've got to remember this, right? Back in 2013, Don Matrick, with that awful, awful Xbox presentation, um, you know, if you can't afford an Xbox One, there's always a 360. What happened two months later to him? He went gone. He, no, he, he got another job. You know, the Microsoft team knew it was bad PR for their company, and still, a lot of people today do not know that you cannot trade games on the Xbox One. You'd be surprised how many people say to me, "Why would I want an Xbox One when I can't 
trade me game. That's crazy. And, and this was two years ago. We're talking two years ago nearly when all this was changed. So um, going back to what they've done, um, they've obviously set set the stall out. I mean, I, I believe this has been going on for four or five months. Um, what they were going to do, they've now come out with this. See, see the greatest games line up in Xbox history. I have faith in Microsoft for saying this. They wouldn't say this and then it all backfires on them because they must be confident in themselves. And Phil Spencer, as you know, the head of Xbox, he must be, um, you know, he must be gritting his teeth together, thinking, right, there's no way any gamer, even if you're a PS4 fan, will not be happy with this lineup. What we've got this year. Because I am so looking forward to this. We know about the leak Gears of War. We know about um, Quantum Break being pushed back to 2016. I still think we'll see some Quantum Break gameplay there. You know, but you've got Forza Motorsport 6, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Halo 5 Guardians, Gears of War 4. Probably we'll see something on that. Whether it'll be a cinematic or you know some gameplay, which you know we just don't know. They're keeping the cards close to the chest with this one. But for them to put this, see the greatest games line up in Xbox history. I mean, that's a wow. You know what I mean? So, um, a new rare IP, you know? It might be uh, bringing back an old classic. So, we just don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. But I am a, I am looking forward to it immensely. If you could... Uh, well, I, I'm not, I, won't, I won't hold you to it, and I hope people won't either. If you can pick... If you can choose something that you think is just... Um, that most people probably aren't talking about, it's something that, that would happen... Or a game that we might see at this at E3 for Xbox. If you could pick one thing they might do, that's you know astronomical. <laughs> what 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 thing do you, would would you predict? Not really predict, but take a wild stab at that you could you could see possibly happening at this E3. A wild stab, right? I'm gonna give you two here, if that's allowed. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, well, there is rumors now. This is only a rumor that Splinter Cell. Um, Ubisoft Splinter Cell is going to be an Xbox exclusive. Now that's only oh, rumor for now. So if Splinter Cell, you, you know, um, that's only rumor, by the way. That's what I've been hearing yeah. uh, that it could be an Xbox only exclusive. But um, so that, I mean, if that was there, I'd, I'd, I'd be totally shocked because Splinter Cell was was one of my all time best games. You know, um, mm -hmm. just the whole stealth thing and everything about it was was amazing. Um, on the rare one. I'm going to go with Banjo-Kazooie. I really want a Banjo-Kazooie next gen. Really want a Banjo-Kazooie. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I can just remember <laughs> hey, all them years ago. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you, man. I would, I would love to see a, a, a Banjo-Kazooie, man. That would be... Okay, man, that's Splinter Cell. That room, I haven't heard that, but I'm definitely going to keep my ears around, man. That would yeah. be... That would be... I mean, it, it would go against what they're saying about the first party thing, but I mean, of course, we're going to third-party titles there, but I mean, that would be huge. I think that would be uh, just as big of a uh, news as when they talked about Rise of the Tomb Raider yeah. um, being being exclusive, whether it's timed or not. That. I think that would be, be I mean, ridiculously huge, but uh, yeah. before we wrap it up, uh, Gibbo, I, wanna, I really want to thank you, man, for coming on. Um, I, I really want people to, to, to really to really get to know you, man, because like you said, you, you're one of the, the greater guys on uh, on YouTube. Is there anything you want you want to get out there before we wrap up? Um, no, not really. I was just obviously a big thanks to yourself for having us on, and um, just anyone out there, like I repeated before, if you want to, if you need any help, if you're thinking of starting a channel, just hit me up on YouTube or Xbox, and I will. You know, surely point you in the right direction. Not just me, but the other guys as well. And uh, no, th thanks for having us, Fame. It's been a pleasure. All right, and you guys, um, as always, I will be linking uh, Gil uh channel in the description, which he has been since the start of my channel. He's always been down there. Just remind me he is down there. And also, if you guys want to check him out in another way, go to the official com and you can find uh, the, his channel, his uh, Twitch stream. And also uh, his Twitter. So everything about Gibbo will be on the official WeGamerRate.com. Once again, Gibbo, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Uh, this is a great seventh episode. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it, was, it was great great having you on. But uh, for G GMXB1, I am Fame Entertainment from the official WeGamerRate.com. And I'm out. Yeah.
Niggas been stacking them bands though. I stay in the hood like a bando. And I look like money, no camo. Yeah, camouflage behind teeth. Hustle, souped up, clock kid. I am a tame, the fuck with you lame. My side bitch your main. Blame it on fame. This is no flex zone, got ammo. 